Hallo und herzlich willkommen. Wir sind heute mal wieder im Süden von Niedersachsen unterwegs und testen mal wieder LKW für die Truck- und Trailerwelt. Ja, und heute bei schönem Herbstwetter hat uns DAF den neuen XF450 aus der brandneuen Fahrzeuggeneration hier nach Bockenem auf unseren Autohof gebracht. Ja, und wir wollen uns das Fahrzeug heute mal ein bisschen genauer anschauen. Dazu ist Rob heute bei mir. Hi Rob, Hi, good, to see you. good to see you. Hi. Rob, can you tell me something about the new DAF generation? About of course, the new XF? of course. Perfect. Uh, for starters, we have now full LED lighting. Yeah. We have, uh, of course, the normal light and the, and, the, and the big lights. The cornering light is all in one compartment. Yeah, yeah. We have the camera system. It's amazing. You have to try it. It is amazing. Okay. Uh, of course, now we have bigger storage compartments. Yeah, yeah. Um, everything is now more round. We fill the gaps for the air flow. See all over there. Yeah, yeah. We will see Very it uh, in a moment when we open the, the hood. We have on this side, we have our vision door, our curb view window. Ah, yeah, I heard about it. Very practical, yeah. This Very good, good thing. You have a yeah. very good direct sight. Of course, you see our window is increased in, 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 in uh, the, the, how big it is. And uh, now you have more direct visibility to, to other traffic uh, uh, bicycles or, or people crossing yeah. over. Yeah, yeah. Like this. So Rob, I heard uh, the new truck generation um, has a, a, new, a new engine, a complete new engine. Is it right? What's new? We have the new MX-11. Uh, yeah. It's uh, a 450 horsepower. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, 2200 Newton meters. Yeah. We have multi-torque, so in a 12 gear it goes to 2350. Yeah, okay. So maybe you can show me the, show me the new engine. Of Take course. a look. Of course, Perfect. no Thank problem. You. So Rob, that's the new MX-11 engine. Yes. Yeah. yes. What's what's new about the, the uh, engine and the system? The pistons, uh, the the motor head, everything is changed. Everything is new. Yeah. Uh, also, we uh, for the for the gases from out the engine into the box, yeah. you need high temperatures. So we made it shorter, so we can reach the high temperatures. Yeah. Uh, we have here the wheelbase now is fixed. Okay. So the airflow into here yeah. stays yeah. the same. Right. We have the DTM spoiler here. Ah, okay. Yeah. So the airflow will go yeah. around. Yeah. Because the good thing about the airflow is it has to stick to the truck. Yeah. When stick to the truck is the best way to to for your aerodynamics. Um, we have the 221 ratio rear axle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you can't see it, yeah. but is there? <laughs> yeah, is there? And of course, what's new for us? We have the front. Yeah. Uh, uh, for the air intake, the front air intake. Ah, okay. Yeah. With the with the other trucks, we had it standing here. Now yeah. we have a front air intake. We will see when we put the cabin back on. Of course, you see, you can see over there the blue tank. Uh, this one is now fixed uh, with the with the. The older truck, where you have to tip the, the cabin, you have to take all your cables off yeah. in, the, in the garage. Yeah. It's now it stays put on there. Okay. You can see we have a complete new dashboard. Yeah. Uh, we now uh, have instead of the switch here, yeah. you can. Ah, the new button here. Yes. Ah, yes. Okay. Yeah. And. What? Yeah. Just try. You always find a good position for everybody. We have all the buttons you need yeah. when you're driving. Yeah. Because we say hands on the hands on the wheel, eyes on the road. Uh, and behind your wheel, you can find on the left side, uh, you can use your 
uh, wipers, settings, yeah, uh, and things like that. Your horn. On the right side is for for putting in your your gear, drive or reverse or go to neutral, but also your echo off button or your manual. Yeah. This here uh, is an indicator for uh, if you use your uh, engine brake uh, enough uh, because this truck has got an engine brake. Yeah. But just adjusting the wheel, you can choose how much information you like to see. So at night, it's perfect. Of course, we don't have to forget about our camera system, our DAF digital video system. Uh, for me, I don't want to drive anything more than this. It, as you can see when you go to the left or to the right, the vision, the direct vision you have and all the things you can see now in your camera, it cannot be any better. Talking about direct vision, as you can see we now have a very big window and it goes lower than before. That means when you are driving, you can see even more before your truck. Safety is very important these days. It is one of the pillars of our truck. So we now also have our new IVI. And with this you can have also get, you can get a navigation system with it. Uh, but also you can couple your phone with it uh, for the Apple CarPlay and uh, Android Auto. As you can see, and it, it works very, very nice, very beautiful. But also Bluetooth for your phone, uh, normal radio, DAB plus radio, it's all in there. And it's very uh, uh, easy to use, it's just by touching. And it goes easy. Here also a big space for putting back your papers. That's very important when you're a driver. We have a big place for if you have something to, to stand here, but more important, our DAF table. It's still there. It's even bigger than it was before. This is very, very good. From this place, look, you can see his feet. He's over there. Yeah. See that? And that truck is way over there, but you can see it's still here. It is amazing what you can see in this, and this is just so much safety bring this to the to the people on the road and for the truck driver. On this side, you can see the curb view window. The curb the curb view window is in combination with the cinema seat uh, because you want a direct view, and this is blocking. So when you don't have a passenger, it is always up and you have always the best view, best direct view that's possible. Also here you can make a table to put on your laptop to see a movie from your bed. We have of course our storage. Nice big apartments where you can put your clothes or whatever away. Uh, here is of course the, the, the USB for the, for the IVI, but also we have here the possibility to, uh, to put your phone there and it will charge without, uh, it's wireless charging. You can put your phone down here for wireless charging. When you are in your bed, the lights, the heating, the panic button, when you uh, push that for uh, several seconds, the horn blows, the light, the light goes on, everything. But also you have here your night light and here you can put in your USB for your phone charging and you could put your phone in here. We have two big storages here in, in our truck. As you can see, it goes even way back. So for your clothes or anything else, place enough. So Rob, thank you very much. So I think we take a little drive, a test drive yes. around here. So 
let's go, let's start. Okay. Yeah, like, like you said it, Rob, the new camera monitor system is very, very practical and an important safety feature. I think the drivers uh, would like it very, very much. And it's very helpful because you will see everything around the truck. So, I like it. Yeah, so Rob, thank you very much. It was very interesting, nice trip, nice trip with the new Duff XF and yeah, thank you for the lot of information and now I go to Hans-Jürgen Wildtage. Philipp, ich war äh, zunächst erstaunt, denn der neue XF ist nicht der alte XF, haha, klar, das Auto ist ein kleines bisschen kleiner geworden, was die uns gegeben haben, war ein besonders leicht gebautes Auto, deshalb war es auch ein 450er, die Profis wissen, 450er ist der 11 Liter Motor, der hat also nicht ganz so viel Wumms, wie wir das sonst im Fernverkehr gewohnt sind. Und mit unserem Testtrailer, der ja nicht so ganz leicht ist, hat sich das Auto gut geschlagen, aber nicht so besonders leicht getan. Das ist ein bisschen anspruchsvoll für die Getriebesteuerung, für den GPS-Tempomaten, da immer den richtigen Gang zu finden. Das Auto ist aber trotzdem schön zu fahren, es ist leise, es sind wichtige Assistenten drin, was nicht drin ist, das ist die elektrische Überlagerungslenkung, wie sonst viele haben. Das heißt, man wird gewarnt, wenn man über den Seitenstreifen hinausfährt, aber es wird nicht gegengelenkt. Macht mir persönlich nichts, wird aber bei DAF irgendwann kommen. Aber was mir äh, wirklich gut gefallen hat, und da war ich doch erstaunt, das, was ich vom XG kannte, die äh, Kameraspiegel statt optischer Spiegel, ich komme damit jedes Mal besser zurecht. Muss ich sagen, ich bin auch bei Dunkelheit gefahren. Das war wirklich okay. Und ansonsten, Philipp, muss ich dir noch ein bisschen Zeit abbringen. Meine genauen Testergebnisse und sowas, die schreibe ich dir auf. Da mache ich dir einen Testbericht.